So I think I've moved the last little bit that I'm going to move. And I just dropped off uh, a later by Stephen King. You're going to have to excuse me. I am fried. Uh, my body hurts. Moving sucks. <laughs> but enough of me whining. So I picked this up. Girls are all so nice here. I don't know. I really, it was something about the title. It just seems kind of like, like it might be really dark, you know? And I was reading the little blurb and it has a lot of like, I know what you did last summer vibes, which takes me back to the nineties. So yeah, that's our next read. I guess I will see you guys in the first 50 pages. Bye for now. Hey guys, just checking in. I just finished the first 50 pages of the girls are all so nice here. You know, when I first started this, I thought it was going to be a little bit like uh, I know what you did last summer kind of thing, which I think I mentioned in the car, actually, right after I got it. Not so much. No, not so much. It is definitely more, I think, a look into like how terrible young girls can be to one another. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and how the, some of the decisions we make, especially in our younger years, are so influenced by our need to be accepted. And how that is horrifying, <laughs> especially to our mental health. And yes, I have gotten all of that out of the first 50 pages. I might be wrong. There is definitely some stuff that has occurred because this is another one of those books where we get a then and a now perspective from our main character Ambrosia and I know something happened while she was at college but we haven't figured out exactly what yet so I guess I'll see you guys in another 50 pages bye for now hey guys so I'm here with a 100 page check-in for our book uh, I actually just got done filming our review for Stephen King's later I should be trying to do some editing today, hopefully. Still a lot of, like, house stuff to get done, though. So, I'm enjoying our book. Let me say that. However, I'm getting just a tad tired of a lot of the, like, female drama happening. And I think it's because that I personally try to avoid that shit like the plague. And I am really far removed from high school and college, and, you know, it just, I feel like as an adult, you, at least most of us, I feel like as an adult, you try to leave a lot of that shit behind you. And as somebody who lives with a 12-year-old girl, I see it and I recognize that it's just part of it. It's part of being a young woman in a lot of ways, you know, some more than others. But yeah, I think that's my big, like, part of this book is I'm just like, oh, God, just stop. It doesn't mean anything. This drama is pointless. And these girls are making some really bad health decisions, too. We'll go into that a little bit more in the review. So we have Ambrosia, who is our narrator, and her friend Sully. And I like Sully. I like her style. But, you know, Ambrosia also has a little bit of a darkness to her. I'm going to call her right now. I honestly think both of them are a touch sociopathic. I really do. Just the way that they discuss things and go about stuff and we keep getting this allusion to something that they did because this is yet another book that is split between now and then in our chapters so we are you know talking with ambrosia from the past while she's going to college and her now where she's married and working in manhattan so we we do get this double life kind of deal again yet another book that's like that but I have to say, the chapters where they're back in college as young women, 18 years old, mind you, they're doing some dark shit. I mean, thinking anyway. You know, and it's almost sad because Ambrosia's talking about how, like, she doesn't feel that she's her own person, that she has to mimic all these other girls. And, you know, I know that a lot of girls feel that way, and it's so sad because as somebody who is not a teenager anymore... <laughs> not even a 20 something anymore. You know, I see these young women and they're all so beautiful in their own way. You know, they really are. And I just, you know, it makes me want to like let them see themselves through different eyes, I guess. 
Anyway, I'm waxing philosophical. I'm enjoying it for the most part. I'm still getting a lot of like, I know what you did last summer vibes. And this is really leaning into like Heathers, Mean Girls, uh, any of those like 80s trope movies of just terrible girls being terrible to other girls, <laughs> but with like a dark twist. So, but that being said, I would like today, I have to go finish some stuff up at our apartment and I would like to go to Walmart and get a bulletin board for in here as well as go to Bath and Body Works and get some like air freshener candle situations for this house. Because I do not often shop at Bath and Body Works except in the fall when they get all of their really awesome Halloween shit in and I just can't pull myself away. They have one now called a Wicked Apple, I think, and it's awesome. Um, I'm also a big fan of a lot of the pumpkin scents, but I feel like you knew that. I do. I feel like you, you probably could guess that <laughs> about me, but I would like to go there and do that today as well when I'm not looking like a chode because God knows these last couple of days between the bruises and the sweating and the 90 degree heat and moving furniture, it's just been like, <gasps> I'm just glad to look human. <laughs> I'll see you guys in another 50 pages. Bye for now. Welcome to my basement. <laughs> so I'm having to teach down here because for my classes, I have to plug in to our router and we haven't read cable up to my office. So I'm regulated to the basement. <laughs> if you hear something in the background, it's just the uh, dehumidifier running. Gotta try to keep everything nice and dry down here, right? I'm sure if you have a house or a basement, you know that struggle. Anyway, I'm here with the 150 page check-in for the girls are all so nice here. I like it. I do. I like it because I love to hate it. <laughs> this book so far is embodying everything that I hated about high school and all of the worst characteristics of females of the human species. <laughs> I'm not saying that men don't do some of these things, but they are, at least in pop culture and at least in some of my experience, it seems to be more predominant in women to be this venomous, just evil to each other <laughs> kind of creature. And I have to say, I am starting to really, really dislike our two main characters. And But you know what? It's funny because while the action is taking place with our two main characters, all of the women, all of the women are playing their, their own little role in this just cattiness and it's it's toxic it's turning very toxic and we still haven't figured out what exactly the big mystery is that they all did but I'm starting to I'm gonna call it right now I think I don't think they like killed anybody I don't think it's like to that degree but I think maybe maybe they like ruined another girl's life like to the point where she needed some like therapy or medication perhaps like that's how that's the kind of games these girls are playing you know anyway yeah it's just it's making me <laughs> it's making me so glad that I am the age I am and that that whole drama and just dramatic time in my life is past you know, like, I, I know some people never let it go, but sorry, my camera overheated. Um, pretty much all I was saying was that I didn't like it when I was that age. I didn't like all the drama, and I especially hate it now. I will see you guys in another 50 pages. I'm going to get back to it. Bye for now. All right, guys, I'm here with a 200-page check-in for The Girls Are Also Nice Here. I still hate our main characters. <laughs> we have found out the big secret like what they did and it's horrific uh, I don't know this, <laughs> this whole book is just making me like really hate the whole trope of venomous women you know and it's sad that this actually still occurs that's the crazy part like I think that's what I hate most of all is that the shit that's going down in this book actually happens to people you know, 
but we still have a little bit of a mystery to solve and we're still like a hundred and some maybe 150 pages from the end so yeah there, there's a lot more to go I feel like and I'm starting to wonder if things don't change a little bit if things don't start to pick up I kind of feel like it's going to start to drag like the whole plot line I hope not because I'm still interested I still want to know you know the I can't really say what mystery without giving a little too much away you'll have to you'll have to stick around to the review but I, I'm interested to see where it goes I'm just I'm starting to get a little bit bored with the same old thing over and over and over I don't know I, I bored might be too strong of a word it actually might be too strong of a word I'm, I'm still enjoying it I can just see this starting to drag if things don't change and I think part of that is probably born out of my hatred for our characters <laughs> and I just want to see them get theirs <laughs> Anyway, I gotta get back to it. I have uh, probably about three hours of classes ahead of me. So, anyway, I will see you guys in another 50 pages. Bye for now. So this isn't a check-in, guys, but let me tell you how life is funny. I was editing a video, and I was watching some YouTube updates about some changes to the ESL industry in China. And I gotta tell you, <laughs> They got me down. You know, there's there's a lot of changes coming, and I I don't feel very secure. <laughs> With everything else going on in the world, and I know I don't have to tell you guys. I know you know, and I'm sure some of you have been far more severely affected than I have. But you know, I don't I don't like not feeling secure. However, hello, darling. <laughs> um I, we recently moved into this house, as you guys know, and I have been just so grateful to see kids in this neighborhood outside riding their bikes and just doing the things that I remember doing as a kid, you know? I know that might sound dumb, but it just gives me hope for the future, you know, because you hear all these terrible things about the new generation and how they're just obsessed with doing stuff online, and, you know, I really think that there is such good in this world. And you know what? I wanted to hop on here because, take a look at this. This is lemonade. I just bought lemonade from two kids down the street. <laughs> and I was feeling so terrible and I saw, I was taking some trash out to the curb for trash day tomorrow. And I saw these kids out there with their little lemonade stand and something in me was like, just go get whatever change you can find. And I want to say they were charging 50 cents, and I don't know how much I gave them. I think it was like $2 or something. I have no idea. I just grabbed all the quarters I could find in my purse. <laughs> but it just, it made me, I don't know, it made me feel so good about the state of the world. You know, like, yeah, maybe things will change with my job, but, you know, we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. Because that's how things work. If it's not... If, it, if it's not working out, then it's not the end. I think I've read that somewhere, or heard that somewhere. <laughs> so yeah, I, just, I guess I just wanted to share that with you guys. Share my little lemonade of hope. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to get back. Uh, I think I'm going to read a little bit, and uh, then start dinner. But yeah. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye for now. Hey guys, just here with the 250-page check-in for The Girls Are All So Nice here. You know, I can't tell if we're winding down or speeding up towards the end. I think there's a dog walking down the street, if you can hear Sandra barking. Yeah, uh, he's just giving you his synopsis of where we're at. <laughs> I feel like our main character is finally starting to get a little bit of her comeuppance, and I feel like her lies are starting to catch up to her. I'm still waiting for some justice to happen, and I still think she's a horrible person, but our other main character, Sully, yeah, she's like the devil. <laughs> and I want to see some justice with her, too. But we've got a little ways to go, so I guess I'll see you guys in another 50 pages. Bye for now. Hey, guys. We did it. We finished. The girls are all so nice here. And we got some vindication. <laughs> 
a really cool one too. I have to say that the ending was kind of slasher movie-esque, which I'm fine with. I'm just glad that our main protagonists got what was coming to them. <laughs> But it was very interesting. I'll, I'll have a lot to say about the ending probably in the review. And I did enjoy this book. The characters were very much like love to hate them, which I'm okay with. <laughs> I'm okay with that. And I'm just glad to see that some justice was served. I was really hoping that just some steaming hot justice would be served to our characters because boy, do they deserve it. And look guys, look, look what showed up. That's my desk! Yay! Now if I could just get the chair and some paint. <laughs> but anyway guys, so I guess that's the end of this book vlog. Um, I guess we'll probably be heading to the library sometime this week to get our next book. So thank you for sticking around for this vlog. Please like and subscribe. It would really help me out. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye for now!